What's up everyone, Mario here with Michael Prince. Today, we're gonna to be sublimating two different colored crop tops with the same St. Patrick's Day image. So this, I think, is the perfect opportunity to go ahead and explain how different colored shirts can affect the final printed image. Let's get to it. So I already have two of my images printed already. And just so everyone knows, this was printed using a Sawgrass SG-1000 using the Sublijet ink. The paper I'm using is my own brand paper, Michael Prince paper. And if you want to check out any of the supplies that I use in this video, just check the description below and I'll have the links to everything there. Now, full disclaimer, some of those are affiliate links. So if you click them and you buy something, I'll get a small percentage of that sale. That being said, you don't have to use any of the links. You can just use whatever you have and what you like to use. So I have the heat press set at 400 degrees and we're going to press the shirts for 45 seconds. Let's go. So we have our crop top already pre-pressed. Let's go ahead and place the image, cover with our parchment paper, press for 45 seconds. Sometimes you get the little press marks around. These are little hard lines that appear because of the paper. An easy way to get it off is just rub the shirt, give it a little shake, and they're gone. Now let's go ahead and pre-press our green crop top. Let's go ahead and center our image once again, cover it with our parchment paper. Here are both the shirts after pressing. As you can tell on the white crop top, the colors are a lot more vibrant than on the green one. So there's a very simple reason for that. And that's because this is a white shirt. The way sublimation printing or just printing in general works is in most printers, you have your typical CMYK, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, black. So there's no white. So what happens is your printer, your computer or, or whatever thinks that you're going to pretty much always be printing on a white base. So in the case of a white shirt, everything comes out the way it's supposed to and very vibrant because you have your white base. Now in the case of something like this, you don't have a white base, you have a green base. So there's never any white being mixed into the colors to give it that brightness, to give it that extra oomph to actually stand out. Here it's a green base mixing in with more green and your little rainbow colors down here. You can get away with this with a lot of lighter colors. You obviously won't be able to print white. So if there's any white in the image, like let's say his eyes, they're not going to come out white. They're going to come out the, the color of the base, which is the color of the shirt. So let's say we're sublimating on a red shirt. The base layer of all of this would be red. Now that could potentially affect the outcome of a lot of other colors that are on the shirt. And that also explains why you can't sublimate on black because having a base layer of black will mean that there's no brightness to it. When you sublimate your image onto it, it'll just absorb all the colors and all the brightness to it. And it just won't show anything. You might be able to see the image if you look close enough but it'll be extremely dark definitely won't look good so that's pretty much it this was a fairly quick video i just wanted to compare what sublimating on two different colors would look like using the same image thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching make sure to leave a like on the video and if you found it helpful help me out a little bit and hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time peace